Brendan, what's the news on Daniel Sturridge? How's his injury? May struggle for the weekend. Uh, it's not too serious, not too. Um, I'm not going to keep him out for too many weeks, but uh, he may be a risk for the weekend. So, uh, but we'll assess it more over the next couple of days. Uh, but that's what we'll. That's how we're looking at it at the moment. How do you feel now about being our right favourites for the title, and how do you deal with that? <coughs> The same as what we dealt with from the very first game of the season, really. Um, there's no added pressure, there's no less or more pressure than than what we had then. You know, we, we still we look to to win the game at the weekend. Um, we still are in check with reality in terms of where we're at. You know, we we made great progress this season and our objective to qualify for the, the Champions League was always going to be a very, very difficult one. Uh, because of the competitive nature of the league, but uh, but we're still on course for that, and uh, if we can get a win at the weekend, then that would uh, rubber stamp that for us. Given Manchester City's result last night, though, is there not a feeling that in terms of the title race, everything is falling into place for you? Well, it doesn't fall into place. You got to make it happen. Nothing falls into place. It's something where there were two things for me come out last night. I obviously went to watch the the Everton and Crystal Palace game, and obviously seen the the Man City Sunderland result. One is that it's it shows the, the level of our performance against Sunderland at home. Because we, we were very, very good in the game up until the last fifteen minutes when Sunderland had a little bit of pressure. But we were able to manage the game and get the three points, which was important. And I think last night was also a warning sign, which was a positive. It was a warning sign for everyone. At this point of the season, with four games to go, there's nothing guaranteed, and I've said that all the way along. You know, Crystal Palace had an excellent result, uh, had dangerous possession in the game last night, defended very well, and, and done really well. And obviously, Sunderland were within minutes of, of getting a great victory. So, uh, so as I said, that that was the biggest message that I got from last night. Yet we might, one of the rivals might have drop points, but it's irrelevant. You have to do your own job, and as I said, the warning signs are there. With that in mind then as well, what did you take from your captain getting the lads together in the huddle after the game and, and the response from the players as well to that? Well, I thought it was great, because I thought that it encapsulated a lot of what uh, the message has been for myself right the way through the season. You know, and it was great that Stevie directly after the game was, was pulling the players together and saying that it's the next game. And the next game was Norwich. So, uh, and it's as I said for, for him, he's he's everyone knows what I think of Stephen and and the importance that he has to us, and and what I will reiterate, you know, because people might have looked at that and 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 saw that, you know, Stevie is the captain leading the troops. That was for the club. That was for the team. You know, he he really is a selfless player. Many people might have looked at that and felt that that was, you know, Stephen Gerrard. Uh, really desperate to win the league. Of course he is. But he's a wonderful ambassador for this club. And he his message for the team is the message that I've relayed all season. We just uh, look forward. We'll have plenty of time to reflect at the end of the season, but we don't know. we just got to focus on the next game, which is Norwich. Brendan, is it impossible to put any sort of time frame on Daniel Sturridge's injury at the moment then? Yeah, because he may well make a real good recovery over the next few days and be ready for the weekend. Uh, but at this moment in time, we're just assessing him and see how how he goes because he he does recover very quickly. You know, before the first game of the season, he only played 45 minutes of football before he played and scored the winner. So, uh, but uh, it certainly is not as serious as what what sometimes a hamstring injury can be. If he was to be ruled out, how much solace do you take from Luis Suarez's recent record against Norwich? He scored 11 goals in the last four meetings between the sides. Yeah, remarkably. You know his performance level. I've seen his three goals that he scored at Carrow Road before I came in, um, and then obviously he's at, you know, four and a three, you know, in my time here against Norwich. So, but I take more solace for, for what we do as a team. You know, Louis plays that role really well. You know, he's he scored a big part of his goals up there on his own. You know, he enjoys that role. He enjoys the freedom and the space that it offers him. And thankfully, as I said, we've got other players that can score goals in, in the team. So, uh, so no, he, he's been, he's been fantastic, and he will continue to be.
What sort of a challenge do you expect from Norwich? Because they, they were unlucky against Fulham in some respects because they had most of the chances in the game but ended up losing 1 0. It's interesting. I felt for, for Chrissy Hutton because, you know, it's. Um, it's a difficult job, you know. You go into a club, and and the objective certainly for for Norwich, I'm sure, is to to ensure they stay in the in the Barclays Premier League. And I think he was he was well on his way to to doing that. You know, he had some big results against big teams at home. Of course, it was difficult away from home. Um, the new coaches come in. He'll, you know, he'll have worked at youth level, which is a great start point for any coach. You know, I had many years as a youth coach, and you learn about systems and tactics and different ideas, and and then you hope that you have the courage and conviction when you when you get the opportunity under pressure to to put those into place. So they changed the shape of the team. They played a diamond last weekend, um, as you say, created some chances, got some good players, and again, they'll say as again that they really need to have to win, and obviously it's been difficult for them this season, but. As I said, we don't underestimate them, we'll respect them and, and know that they are a threat. Car Road's a wonderful place to play football and, as I said, we, we had a great result there last season, so we'll hope to continue a good run against them. Manuel Pellegrini said after the game last night that he saw signs of his team suffering from a mental fatigue after a bit of a hangover from the result against Liverpool. How difficult is it to ensure that your players don't suffer the same thing? It's fairly straightforward. For me, I've got a an incredible bunch of players here that work tirelessly every day and they're very focused and concentrated on the job that we want to do. You know, of course at this this part of the season it can bring stress, you know, to teams and to players or to managers, but we use the stress as a a determination. You know, it's also an opportunity to show that you can fight and that's something that we uh, we certainly learn, and, and if ever I learnt it more in a week, it was this week with the memorial that took place. You know, a wonderful uh, service, and as I said, the many people that inspired us there that under the most stressful circumstances you can fight and use it as a determining factor to succeed. So, uh, so that that is our notion, and again, what I've seen with the players, the pressure is no different. You know, we. We always have pressure here at Liverpool because we expect to win and do well, and, and it's the same for us. In this final three weeks or so, will it be the team who's mentally strongest to win the title? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's a bit mental pressure. You know, I think for us, it won't be the, quite the case of the pressure. We might get a little bit of bad luck go against us, or a mistake, which is a genuine, honest mistake. But. It, I think people have, if you look at our team, and we've been asked questions in particular over these last two or three months when we've played big games. You know, every, every game that we've gone into, away from home or at home against a big team, this was always going to be the test and the challenge of our can we deal with the pressure. And I think the players have been magnificent in the response to that and how they've dealt with that. So we'll just continue along that road. We've got a real work ethic here. The environment is set up for elite players, and the elite players at this moment in time are, are shown to be the best. But we know, we certainly don't have our hands up in the air. The finish line is still a wee bit out. We just need to focus and, and keep producing the performances that we have, showing the character that we have, and if we can do that, we'll hopefully take three points of the weekend. Thank you. Brennan, uh, ten successive victories in the Premier League takes an awful lot of doing, and it shows how phenomenally well your team are doing at the moment. How do you manage with just four games to go to to, to normalise everything from the players' point of view? Only four games left. It's within touching distance now, but you've got to try and keep their feet on the ground. It's it's easy to say that you can do that, but but more difficult to do, I think. I think as a manager, it's the job. You know, you've got to manage expectation. It's part of. You know the, the leadership role. Um, we've never got too carried away. I think that our focus is the, the training ground is very much closed and focused on what we're doing. Um, the players are all excited. You know, I think you, you look at our, you know, look at our performance last weekend. Everyone was looking at how we would fare against Manchester City. You know, one of the, the greatest squads in, in Europe. And for the first, for the first 45 minutes, we were unplayable. 
and that was against a group of top players that have scored a lot of goals this season and, and got some world class players. Um, we showed in the in the other parts of the game our resilience and our and our focus and I say that concentration to win and and that's what we've been working on on a daily basis. I think we never look too far ahead. That's key in order to to manage that expectancy um, because. As I said, it doesn't matter about Chelsea or Palace or Newcastle. We have to do the job against Norwich. And we focus on our performance level. And that takes our mind off a lot of the other external factors that, and the background noise that can, as I said, that, that may come across your way. How much did you, and maybe more importantly, the players learn and gain from last week? Not just the three points and, and the manner of the victory, but it's the first time during this excellent run of form where the team has been under the cost to the extent that you were for uh, for periods in the second half. We've had other games where we've had pressure. Maybe not as incessant though. Well, it was 20 minutes. There was 20 minutes at the beginning of the second half where we had to stand up and be counted. And of course, they and they're entitled to. You get the biggest wage bill in sport. You got to perform at some stage in the game. So for that first 20 minutes, they, they got their goals. The second one was a deflected goal. Uh, but then we came back and we showed what great teams do. They bounced back and they showed that resilience and then ultimately the quality that sees you through. We've had other moments in other games. We had 15 minutes against uh, Sunderland, but we had to stand up and we did that and, and won the game. So. I think there's been questions, a lot of questions asked about the team, and uh, and so far we, we've come out with all the solutions to to the games. And as I said, when you play against a big opponent like them last weekend, you expect it at some stage. But um, I've got to say, our response over the course of the game was was exceptional, and it was a a brilliant team win and performance. On paper, this is a game that, that Liverpool should win quite easily. It, it's not going to work out that way. And, and you'll be making sure the players know all about that if they don't already. But why at this stage of the season do you see so many upsets like we saw last night in, in, in both of the matches? It's, it shows that the, the stress <coughs> and getting to, to the business end of the campaign, it, it does have an effect on players that, that you, you almost can't prepare them for. No, it, it may well be. I think that I'll just reiterate what I've said all season. that. I think maybe for, for supporters and other people looking at games on paper, they may or may not look easy. But us as managers and coaches, it's very difficult to forecast. You know, I've said from day one that every single game at this level is a test, whether you're playing the team at the top or the team at the bottom. It is an extremely difficult league. It's the most competitive league in European football. And last night probably epitomised why, because of you know, the teams, every team has got quality, every team can score goals. They may not be able to, some teams put it consistently together, but you know in games that they can do well. And as I said, Crystal Palace defended really well last night and had a threat on the counter attack. You know, man, uh, Manchester City obviously had it difficult against Sunderland, who played very well. So it, it's the nature of this league. And Norwich will be the same for us at the weekend. They know they need to win the game, they're just above the relegation, they'll see their home games has been vital for them. They're looking to obviously change the way they're playing. They're looking to open up the field a bit more and a bit more space uh, to play in. So, uh, so as I said, and they want to show that they can, they can win in front of their supporters. So I, th I think it's just the nature. Thank you very much.